Shaggy is the second main character of the Scooby-Doo franchise, as he has the second most appearances behind Scooby. With uh, 52 years the franchise has been going on, we have met many members of the Rogers family. Starting with Shaggy's sister, Maggie Rogers, also known as Suggy. In her first appearance, she is blonde and it's her wedding day, and she is marrying a man named Wilfred. But her wedding was disrupted by the ghost of McBaggy Rogers, although in the end, the two do get married. She also appeared in A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, but as a baby, and mainly as a side character. This was likely done for continuity purposes. Speaking of Wilfred, as I just mentioned, he is Shaggy's brother-in-law. He only appeared once. He has large eyebrows and brown bushy hair. It is quite weird that at his wedding, we don't see any of his family, not even his parents. Moving on to Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. The owners of Mumsy and Dad I Do, and the parents of Shaggy and Maggie Rogers. Mr. Rogers used to be a police officer in Coolsville, but is now retired. He used to have brown hair, but now it is gray, and he is currently balding. Mrs. Rogers has dirty blonde hair, although it used to be orange. It is unknown if she dyed her hair, or it just happened to change over time. Once she became middle-aged, she gained many of the characteristics that many of the Rogers family share. Although some of the Rogers family doesn't have some of these physical attributes, like Shaggy's cousin, Betty Lou Shagbilly, who has brown hair with bows in it, and as her name implies, she is a hillbilly. Another one of Shaggy's cousins is Tawny Rogers, who is the third cousin twice removed of Shaggy. She is the owner of the Crazy Q Ranch in Sorghum City. She seeked out help from Shaggy to get to know him, as she very much cares about her family. Shaggy actually gave her the money to keep the ranch open for business. I'm surprised that there aren't more Shaggy cousins as I would think that they would be used as plot devices. Speaking of which, Shaggy's uncles, half of which are used for their episode's plot, and they aren't really characters, starting with Uncle Shagworthy. Mr. Shagworthy is a so-called zillionaire, whatever number that is, and is one of the biggest jewelers in the world. He looks just like his nephew, but just more fancy, with the addition of a monocle. He also has an appetite just like Shaggy. Uncle Shagworthy is not the only rich uncle of Shaggy's. There's also Dr. Albert Shagelford. Dr. Shagelford is a billionaire scientist and is one of the only Shaggy uncles that serves a purpose, as he is basically setting up the plot for the whole series of Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue as he mysteriously went missing and left Shaggy and Scooby to take care of his mansion. He is also more an important figure than it may seem, as he is the one giving them clues to take down the evil Dr. Fives. Another one of his uncles that serves a purpose is the fearless Shagaford. Yes, I said Shagaford, not Shagaford. For some reason, their names are very similar, but not the same which I think may have been a mistake by the writers of the former. Anyways, he is the head of the Fearless Detective Agency, and gave Shaggy, Scooby, and Scrappy all jobs to take cases while he was on vacation. Shagaford seems very angry, especially with his nephew. While giving him instructions over the phone, he wears a brown suit, black tie, and has gray hair with some white streaks in it. And the final of Shaggy's uncles, and the only one to share the Rogers name, is Gaggy Rogers. Gaggy Rogers, as his name implies, is a jokester. And he is essentially a middle-aged person of Shaggy, with a lot more facial hair. Gaggy also owns Whoopsie Doo, 
who is Scooby-Doo's clumsy cousin. And they are a prank new team within the episode that they appear in. And those were all of Shaggy's uncles. Well, sort of. He does have a great uncle called Uncle Nathaniel. The most, like, Shaggy. As Velma put it, he's the spitting image of Shaggy. They also have very similar personalities, as they are scared of any type of supernatural figure, and can be scared easily. They also both love to eat. There were a couple more ancestors of Shaggy, but I didn't really know where to put them, so I will list them here. Dapper Jack Rogers, McBaggy Rogers, Uncle Beauregard, and Shaggy the First. And that is the Shaggy Rogers family tree. There weren't as many different family members as the Dew family tree. Probably because Scooby-Doo is the titular character. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. See ya.